virtualization virtualization is a technology so that we can use uh, we can share physical uh, resources such as ram cpu with other virtual machines so what does it actually do so if you if you go to your task manager if you click on performance so in this machine i do have uh, this much cpu and uh, 31.8 gb of uh, ram random access memory so out of 31.8 gb so i'm just using 6 gb and the cpu is just 2 percent so the remaining uh, 97 or 98 percent of cpu and uh, uh, this 80 percent of memory stays idle so even if i use some also some up if i run some application it's gonna reach about uh, memory is gonna reach about 30 percent and uh, the cpu is gonna around uh, 25 30 percent so what about the remaining re remaining resources so we're gonna waste it so instead of wasting it uh, just imagine if this happens in a uh, servers of a uh, huge server such as if you look into your organization building so you usually have a bigger server so so you you can have this kind of machine so if you just host a single operating system on them so and what so then you're going to waste a lot of resources uh, out of it so that's not an ideal way so you you uh, you're going to you're going to waste use money so for that we got a technology virtualization so that virtualization technology we can use the remaining resources in this case the remaining 80% uh, of resources we can use it for deploying the other operating system so for that if it is desktop we can use virtual box or vmware to create virtualization then inside that uh, virtualization application so we can uh, create our uh, vms in it so we can we can we can use uh, use it for launching uh, another operating system such as linux or uh, we can use it for another even windows we can we can we can launch we can use a uh, these virtual box are uh, VMware to create different uh, operating systems. So on top of that, we can uh, install our applications, for instance, uh, Nginx. So if I want to run an Nginx web server, what I can do, I can create uh, a, Linux, a Linux virtual machine. On top of that, I can install uh, Nginx in, inside. So then I can run web server, Nginx web server inside that Linux machine. So I can run as many uh, v, uh, virtual machines uh, as I want. Of course, uh, I need to uh, look after these uh, limits as well. So if you use uh, more virtual machines uh, <clears throat> than your available uh, physical resources, so it's gonna stuck your system. So what about containers then? Containers, uh, let me try a diagram for this uh, so it makes easy so this is your physical machine uh, in this case uh, laptop so on top of uh, that hardware you installed uh, you got operating system on it operating system on uh, this laptop then on top of that operating system so this is your operating system on top of that okay uh, let me redraw so you got your operating system and on top of your operating system uh, you got you installed a virtual box the vm it could be virtual box or any uh, the uh, virtual virtualization technology such as VMware so here you can use different virtual machines on on top of it so but when it comes to these containers of course you can use uh, instead of VM uh, VM uh, virtual box or VMware so you can use hypervisor as well that uh, that's a different technology to create virtualization so that mostly we use it on uh, and servers so what about the containers so in containers it you got uh, your your laptop over here okay on top of that on top of that your operating system uh, your os then on top of that uh, you're gonna have your uh, containerization engine uh, such as 
Docker engine, so that we use it for uh, creating uh, containers. Of course, you got other engines as well, but uh, this is the most famous one. So, so on top of this Docker engine, oops. So on top on top of these Docker engine, you're gonna uh, create your uh, containers. So container is nothing but just a, a simple up. Uh, sim it contains uh, a simple service for instance nginx so if you want to create nginx so you have to create a virtual uh, first virtual vm uh, virtual machine for instance kali linux or ubuntu inside then you can install ubuntu uh, nginx server but if you want to create another nginx server what you're gonna do you're gonna launch another uh, vm then you have to install nginx inst inside them so for booting these VMs, it's going to take uh, a lot of time. So compare with these containers. But uh, when it comes to containers, what you're going to do is you just create your containers on top of your Docker engine. So as many containers as you want. And these containers are lighter, lighter weight because these these contains about just MB sub size. So they they you can easily create them and you can uh, easily destroy them but when it comes to vmc it takes time to uh, boot up for uh, for instance this kali machine if you install so it's going to take time to boot it up but these uh, these containers uh, doesn't take that much time to uh, uh, create them and uh, and another portability is if your uh, your developers are writing a code then they installed uh, the dependencies inside the system so when they test it works fine but uh, if they could if they given that code to you and if you test that uh, code in your system uh, sometimes uh, it might uh, it's not gonna work because you don't need some dependencies uh, issues so you have to install python 3 or something else for python applications so if it is a node.js so you need to have some proper uh, libraries for it so so in order to avoid that you can just uh, put your code inside a container and you can give them that container to the other users so they can simply deploy it and they can run it so so in this case we can avoid the dependency issue so the, this is the main advantage of this container so let's uh, look into the uh, and even you can use same ports uh, on your uh, container so for instance if you have any uh, uh, okay, let me say check uh, whether to have since I don't have any uh, VMs running uh, on it, so so that's not a problem. So I hope uh, use case of these containers and uh, VMs. So compared with the VMs, these are very lightweight and uh, these are very easy to deploy, and these share same namespace. And one of the disadvantages of these containers, these all the all of these containers runs on a host machine. So in this case, your laptop. So if your laptop goes down so all of these uh, containers is gonna go down so 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 that's one of the disadvantages uh, 